Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Season 30 of Warships just started, meaning the Mega Crab is now gone. I got a couple um, good sessions in for it. I got to stage 71 and then finished with like, a, I think it was well over 20 attacks left. So I was pretty proud. Two Mega Crabs in a row. I was able to uh, get the Diamond uh, Trophy there, which is rare because usually I don't go that hard on Mega Crab. Um, but we got the session sessions in and I'm proud of where we ended even though I'll eventually get to a hundred one day we'll, we'll put in the work, but we're gonna be doing four um, Maxed out doom cannons versus defending hammerman. I saw comments on this uh, Last week and I wanted to try it out uh, I think ever since the extra prototype came out. I've only done for maxed out microwavers, I believe. So we're moving on to Doom Cannons, and I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna bump the HQ a couple slots back, but once we fail a stage of Hammerman, if we do, if we fail a stage of Hammerman, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna switch um, to our other base design, but until then, um, we're just gonna be flipping to four maxed out Doom Cannons and keeping this design and see see how many um, stages we can actually beat. And it looks like stage one here, uh, they're actually doing pretty well against this. When we go against Riflemen and Heavies, there's so many of them like attacking. Actually, Zookas are probably gonna be more scary. I see some Zookas in there too. But when we go against them, it's gonna be very difficult because uh, there's just so so many and doom cannons can only take out so many troops at once and if we could take out those zookas that would be very nice but it looks like the first stage is giving us issues are we going to lose to the first stage i'm going to bump it up to four times here are they going to be able to take out this hq in uh two minutes and 40 seconds here i don't think they will be able to but we shall see and i, I okay i think they will be able to that hq is melting pretty quickly so um this did not go as planned what did hammerman eat for breakfast this morning because that stage one was way too difficult for um defending hammerman wow what do i do do i just all right i think we're gonna what we're gonna do here we're gonna switch to our regular hammerman base design we're gonna defeat stage one and then flip back for stage um two of it so it should go pretty quick i already got the doom cannon set in and then the christmas tree or the beach mist tree on top there it looks cooler on the ice base um because of the contrast with the white instead of the green look at that it's almost like i got a christmas tree going and then there's a christmas tree at top kind of the design but we got to go let's flip to our four maxed out doom cannons and see can we take out stage two so we got i think we will be able to there's no there's no huge boat or riflemen that we need to take out here warriors they might give us some trouble but i'm hoping the doom cannons will do some work here that stage one just took me by when have i ever lost a stage one of defense like they wouldn't have been able to take out like two shield generators on their own but somehow they were able to take care of it and look at the medics they're running into the troops even though there's no health knocked off i wish my medics did that but they seem to just stand by each other instead of running to the troops when they don't need to heal anything um okay let me see where's where's my rocket launchers are they in range i thought i just saw a troop take damage all right so no we are just being silly there for a second and Grenadiers, they're gonna take a while to take out, so we're just gonna bump it up to times two. And will they get a single Doom Cannon? No, they will not. And that is pleasing because we got destroyed. We got we got beat by stage one. Like, what is this? Like what? Ha okay. I guess Hammerman heard my cries, heard my pities, and he, he softened up on us. We're not gonna We're not gonna win this. Are you kidding? 24 riflemen, 60 Zookas? I'm pretty sure the time I did it with um, just three Doom Cannons, it went much smoother than this. Maybe it all depends on uh, how quickly the fleets drop or um, which comes first and all that. But actually, I think this is going better than Stage 1. I know the Warriors, they're taking a while to go down. But once we get through the Warriors, okay, no, we're going to have trouble with the Zookas. 
We really are. Why why you gotta do so many riflemen and Zuka's hammermen? I picked the wrong week to do this. It seems like when uh, he picks a troop like riflemen and Zuka's, he, he sticks to that trend and I mean props to hammermen, it works. And we're not gonna be able to defend this, but my goodness. My goodness. Alright, we're gonna speed this up. We're gonna switch to our other base design. And we're gonna see if we can win. Um, I'm not like if our doom cannons are doing this bad, I'm not even confident in my other base. So we're gonna flip back to our hammermen one. There we go. Stage three, we'll just we'll put it on times four right away. We we know what happens on stage three against our normal base. But do you guys like my doom cannon layout? We got two on um, the second layer and then we got the next one spaced out because i know hammerman in the later stages always throws shock bombs on the same level and we are already on moving on to stage four let's get our doom cannons back let's see yeah there is just there's no way there's just no way at least there'll be a quick death we'll bump it to times two right away hey, who knows who knows maybe the doom cannons somehow okay there's even crying ears here this <laughs> Yeah, what once the hot pots come out, that's like the best prototype to do this with. I was surprised first time I did three max out hot pots. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty. I think Hammerman saw it and then stepped up his game. Uh, but anyway, quick death here. Although it's only riflemen and grenadiers really doing damage. I guess some tanks too. So uh, it it was a pretty quick death, but it could have been quicker at the same time if there were zukas. Or bombardiers we would have got put out of our misery but i am disappointed you know if if you asked me before the video usually i do predictions if you would have asked me before i would have said yeah we'll probably die on stage five that'll be the first stage or something that uh will give us some trouble and even then we might be able to get to stage six stage one just comes in destroys us my goodness um uh, but our normal base design should be fine we'll bump it up to times four here and we will see a lot of riflemen we have to take out. But once we get past the riflemen, the doom cannons that are remaining, all three of them that were in range, will be able to take it out. And there we go. We're getting some return on our investment a little bit. But it was just so expensive to get these doom cannons up and running. All right, we'll load back in. Even though stage five, we know what's coming. Who knows? Maybe Hammerman will gift us an easy one, like 96 riflemen to take out. Um, yeah, it's just not happening. It, it really ain't happening here. I mean, I guess as the troops go on, Doom Cannon's still one-shot these troops, but uh, they just do more damage. Alright, target the mechs. Let's take out the mechs at least. They're taking forever to get there. Man, these Grenadiers are giving you trouble, Doom Cannons. Come on, come on. Fire quicker. They're Grenadiers, and somehow... They're just able to completely destroy you. Shame on you, Doom Cannons. I don't like you anymore. I don't like going against you. I don't like having you. But I, I think... I know it's a little excessive for Doom Cannons. But I think we're going to be able to finally be defending some of our uh, bases. Or uh, in my regular base design. Look at this. Let's see. Is there still some? Alright, so this is all Hammerman. Look at the last 24 hours. Base rated. Seven times. That's excessive in the last 24 hours. I feel I feel ashamed. My base are uh, not able to hold up. But now we got four Doom Cannons worked in there. So I think we'll get at least a couple diamonds out of the battles. And not, uh, not just seeing the base has been raided or whatever. The base has been destroyed. Uh, but we should be able to take out this one early. When you have protection on the Doom Cannons, they have more time to work their magic. You know, take out couple max here a couple max there a couple uh couple grenadiers and down it goes actually stage five got like almost halfway through my base kind of surprising all right moving on to stage six I'm, I'm using so much gold here flipping back and forth but we gotta test out make sure our doom cannons somehow don't defeat stage six here we're just gonna bump it to times four right away they like uh, the Doom Cannons, they're like, alright, this is all, this is all first wave, and then they just, they can't keep up. And once the second wave, third waves come in, they just uh, can't do anything. But we made it a quick death for ourselves. Um, I like how I bump back the HQ, but I didn't save it to that design. So the first battle, I bumped it back, but now um, it just, 
it, the HQ is forward on it now. I just noticed that. But stage six, are we gonna be able to take it out with a regular base design and two boosted ice statues? Boosted. Keep in mind, my base got uh, fully attacked, fully destroyed seven, maybe more times in a row without a defense with boosted ice statues. Keep that in mind. All right, a regular base design like we'll help you out, Doom Cannons. You're struggling a bit on your own here. Here's, uh, here, here's some rocket launchers and shock launchers that uh, they'll carry the battle. But our final stage, we have made it. 360 riflemen. I hope we get that Scorcher right away. I just want to see the Scorcher come out and die. And usually Hammerman does lead with the Scorcher. You love to see it. No shock bombs on the Doom Cannons. And they almost one-shotted that Scorcher. My goodness down goes the scorcher and now we just bump it to times four because there is no chance second fleet of all riflemen coming in and down it goes our base so what are your predictions for this i think we'll be able to take it out there is there's so many riflemen so i wish you know somehow somehow the doom cannon could do the work of a hot pot but who knows maybe the rocket launchers having four rocket launchers fully available looks like hammerman took out one for this first fleet and a shock launcher but it shouldn't be too much of an issue we're gonna bump it to times two right away so the nice thing about this the line of mines are gonna come in clutch here i think unless unless we say i, I wouldn't mind saving them for the next fleet but they're gonna get um to that first okay all right we have it he was able to take out some mines. I don't even know if it was from the rifleman though, but look at that shock mine. My goodness, my goodness, we are gonna be able to easily destroy this. All right, so at least my base wasn't weak in totality, but Doom Cannons, you lost this stage one. I'm never gonna let that, I'm, I'm never gonna live that down. Doom Cannons, you lost to stage one of defending Hammerman. Oh, that's just, that's embarrassing so I guess we'll just bump back this is my base design with our doom cannons I don't know where to place them but I feel like this is alright we got them spaced and somewhat protected but also in um, in critical spots where I think we can take out I, I think people are gonna have some issue attacking my base but I think we're still gonna get absolutely destroyed some of these battles we're sitting at 968 quite a few bases to clear out i will do that um between editing this video and posting it so we are getting close to a thousand i've gotten more time on my hands clearly by being able to get 71 stages of mega crab in. so let's keep that going only got one more landing craft till we have all maxed out landing crafts that is hype i'm excited to get that out of the way but that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.